Welcome to the second installment of the tutorial uh, series that we're doing on the Joomla Beat podcast this month, uh, where we're going to have a look at Seblod and uh, a bunch of the different uh, capabilities with it and go through the use case and, and um, the case study of building a portfolio or gallery style functionality on your website, on your Joomla website, using Seblod. To refresh your memory, last week we went through creating a content type where we created our gallery item content type and uploaded a couple of different content items. So we'll have take a quick look at that uh, to go back over it. So here in the Joomla article manager, you can see the three content items that we added. And if you click on one of them, you'll see that we don't see the traditional Joomla article uh, form in the back end, but we see our custom content form where we can add the title, the caption for our image and the image itself. Now, before we go into today's tutorial, where we're going to look at now displaying these images on a page of our website using a Seblod list and search type, I want to address one of the questions that we got on the Joomla Beat website, which is how to add um, alt text for the images that you upload. And it's really simple. All we have to do is go into the Seblod component, go into the form and content type manager, and go into our gallery item content type. And on our image upload fields, we click on the little edit icon. And we can change the mode to an advanced mode where we can give the image a title and some alt text uh, description as well. So if we enable that, click save and close on that. Click save and close again. and go back into one of our content items in the article manager. You'll see now that we have a title and uh, an alt text description field where we can add in content uh, for that particular image. So for the alt text for this one, I'm going to put leave the title as it is. I'm just going to add in alt text for each of these images. Okay, so that's showing you how you can add alt text and uh, a title to the images using the image upload field. So now we're going to get into today's tutorial where we're going to explore the Seblod list and search type functionality. So a Seblod list and search type is for you to take control over how your content items are displayed on the front of your website. So instead of just having the content view where you can uh, see all the information about a single content item, these uh, list and search types allow you to dynamically create a page that uh, has a list of different um, content items based on a certain uh, set of parameters. So we set our parameters in our search form and you can give the user control over that search form so that they can fiddle with different filters and uh, change what content is displayed on the page. Or you can hide the search form, preset your values, and uh, the user will just see the page itself uh, with the different content items on it. And that second example is what we're going to do today. So in the list and search type manager of Seblod, click new. Here we're going to select the type of items that we're looking for, which is gallery items. And we want our items to be displayed in a blog style layout. So we'll click on blog. And then we'll click create. Now up the top in the title, we're going to name this gallery items. 
we're going to set the app folder to our gallery app folder, which we created last week. And here in the search form is where we can add in different fields that are going to be the parameters for um, our, que our query, which defines what is um, defined on, or, or shown on the page. But because we just want a page where all of our gallery items are shown, I don't need to do anything to my search form because this field that's already there tells uh, Seblod to retrieve all of the gallery items. And that's the only filter that we need. And you can see that it's hidden here, so it won't be shown to the user. But as an additional measure, we'll go into the configuration options. And we'll change show search form to hide. Okay, so that's all we need to do for our search form. Now for our output, so what is shown uh, in the list. So because we're using the blog template, we have to go to the list view, which then enables the item view, and that is where we're going to add our fields in for display. I'm going to add in my gallery image field and my gallery snippet field. Then I'm going to click the link typography toggle here. And I'm going to change the typography of this particular field to image so that we can enable the lightbox functionality. Now we want our image to be, actually let's just double check the thumbnails that we created last week. So we want the image to appear, uh, that appears on the page initially to be this thumbnail one. And when we click on that thumbnail one, we want the larger image, thumbnail three, to show. So we've got display as default thumbnail one, which is correct. We can also add thumbnail two to be the, um, uh, the different images that are shown at different resolutions. So thumbnail two can be shown at two times resolution and uh, three times resolution can be thumbnail three. And in our modal box, we want thumbnail three to show. Now, here you also have uh, the option to specify the image alt text uh, based on either the um, alt text that we set on each image or, uh, and in this case, what we want the alt text to be for the image is the snippet field. So I'm going to put in the ID of that field in there so that it's going to pull the snippet text as the alt text for that image. And that's going to be really handy because in the light box, the light box automatically uses the alt text to uh, put the caption below the image. And that's the caption that we want to show. So we're going to save that. And in this view, we don't want uh, the labels to display next to each field. So we're going to change the template options to hide the labels. One final thing before we uh, save this is that we're going to add it to our menu and you can do that really conveniently here in, uh, in Seblod. So we're going to say add to menu and we're going to click save. So let's flick over to the front end of our website and see what's happened. So we've got our new menu item over here on the right. And if we click on that, you can see that we have our three images with the caption below. And if we click on one of those images, it appears in a light box. And at the bottom, you see the snippet 
text below. We can flick through those images using the navigation at the bottom. So there's a couple of things to note. Firstly, the image is too big for my screen, and so I'm going to change that. And also, we've got some uh, the images being cut off here at the bottom. So we're going to uh, change some settings that make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, so back over to our list view. And firstly, we're going to change the typography settings on our image to make sure that our modal box opens thumbnail 2 instead of thumbnail 3, so it can just be a bit smaller. And then in our template, we want to change the layout of our, um, of our blog items. So you can see that in the front end, we've got this one leading article, and it occupies the whole column here, even though that uh, the image doesn't expand to the full column. And then you've got a two column layout beneath it for subsequent articles. But what I really want is to have my images nicely side by side each other. So what I'm going to do is go into my list view here. Change my template options. And put in a really large number here so that basically any amount of items that I add into my, um, my gallery are shown in this main top block. leave the display settings as they are, and I want them to be three, actually two columns. And I'm gonna leave all those other settings the same. So we should see all of our images sitting side by side in a two column grid. So we'll save that refresh our page and there we can see now our images nicely in a two column grid and they're not getting cut off anymore when we click on one of those images it's nicely fitting the screen and we can tab across to see the different images there's one more thing that I want to enable here which is some responsive web development support so if we were to look at this on a uh, mobile screen we would only see we would see that uh, these two columns just shrink uh, in accordance with the screen size which might make these images quite small and instead I want to have the image stack one underneath each other and seblod has got some built-in functionality around that which you can enable in Seblod's options so go back to the main component page and click on options And you've got a bunch of options here, which I won't go through now in detail, but if you want to see what all of these different parameters do, you can uh, go to the Seblod resources uh, page, go to manuals, and you'll see a manual there that goes through all of these different settings. But we want to go over to the site tab and click enable responsive web development, which will, for that particular template that we're using, that blog template, will enable those images to be stacked on top of each other on mobile devices, which would be really neat. Also in this tab, you'll be able to set the modal box style. So this uses the uh, JavaScript color box uh, plugin. And you can change the style of the modal box here by toggling these styles. So if we click style one and click save and refresh our page, you'll see that the modal box style has changed. And again, style two. Refresh. It's changed again. So there's a few different styles that you can play with there depending on uh, what you want your modal box to look like. Okay, so that's shown you how to create uh, a list page using Seblod, and uh, you can see our portfolio and our gallery style site starting to come to life. 
Now, in the uh, in the tutorial that we'll do next week, we're going to look at how to make a commenting functionality on each of these images. So if you want users to be able to leave comments and reviews on each of your images, uh, we're going to look at how to do that. And, uh, and that's the first um, demonstration you'll see of using Seblod applications, which are pre-bundled sets of uh, functionality that you can just install into your Joomla and Seblod website. And, uh, and you've got some forms and some lists and search types ready to go so that uh, you don't have to build the forms and, and the list and search types yourself. It's all ready to go, and all you have to do is just integrate it into uh, whatever functionality you want to integrate it into in your website. Okay, so uh, same as last week, if you have any questions, please let us know uh, in the comments section on the Joomla Beat website, or uh, let us know on Twitter, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And um, for questions that uh, really need a demonstration, We'll, um, we'll rehash that and answer them in, uh, in next week's tutorial. Okay, thanks for tuning in.